for the first three months, you have a risk of complication from immunosuppression medication. Infection is the most common one. So uh, liver transplantation surgery uh, recovery depends on how sick you are prior to transplant. But suppose you are relatively in a, a stable condition going into liver transplant. The typical uh, days in the hospital is between 7 and 10 days. Um, and the uh, uh, wound healing time is about one month's time. One month is about a time we take all the staples or stitches. Um, but it's really, really not the real time for the recovery. The liver transplant surgery involves immunosuppression medication to suppress your immune system. Uh, the immunosuppression medication is typically very high for the first three months. For the first three months, you have a risk of complication from immunosuppression medication. Infection is the most common one. After the three months passes, then uh, complicate, the risk of rejection goes down, the immunosuppression medication level can go down. And then between three and six months are sort of the time for the real recovery that you go back to your daily activity. That's the time that uh, children go back to school and an adult, this is the time to go back to work. The most common complications are the infection uh, or the rejection. And these complications typically happen early after transplant. The first three months is the most common, then it goes down over time. Uh, but it's probably up to one year, you still have a risk of relatively high likelihood of complication. But once the one year passes, um, that goes into a more stable time.